The 60 frame plunger pump contains two sets of valves, the inlet valves and the discharge valves. Both the inlet and discharge valve assemblies are identical. Two kits are required to service the pump. Begin by removing the valve plugs using a 41mm socket. After removing the valve plugs, inspect o-rings for cuts, nicks, or damage. A new o-ring is included with the valve kit. Next, remove the coil spring and then the washer. To remove the valve assembly, use a M12 bolt and thread into the top of the spring retainer. Using a needle nose pliers, grasp under the head of the bolt and pull away from the manifold. Remove the M12 bolt. Inspect valve seat o-rings and spring retainers for damage. If the spring retainer separates from the valve seat during removal, remove the M12 bolt. Then remove the spring and valve by hand. To remove the valve seat, insert a reverse pliers in the inside diameter of the valve seat and use a twisting motion as you pull away from the valve chamber. Before installing the new valve assembly, apply lubricating oil to the o-rings on the valve seat. Thread the M12 bolt into the spring retainer. Install the valve assembly into the valve chamber and use a rubber hammer to tap assembly into place. Remove the M12 bolt from the spring retainer. Install the washer, followed by the coil spring, onto the valve assembly. Before installing the valve plug, replace o-ring with a new o-ring supplied in the valve kit. Lubricate the o-ring before installation. Hand thread the valve plug into the manifold Using a 41mm socket, tighten the valve plug and torque to specification. If the valve assembly is to be reused, serviced, or inspected, the valve assembly must be disassembled. Insert a flat tip screwdriver through the spring retainer just above the valve and turn screwdriver to create a small gap between the spring retainer and the valve seat. Inspect spring retainers for cracks, excessive wear, or damage. Inspect springs for proper tension. Inspect tapered surface of the valves for signs of wear or pitting. Inspect tapered surface of the valve seats for signs of wear or pitting. Inspect the valve seat o-rings for cuts, nicks, or damage. Inspect o-ring sealing surfaces in the valve chamber for damage. To reassemble the valve assemblies, begin by placing the valve seat on a flat surface with the tapered surface facing up. Place the valve onto the valve seat with the tapered surface facing down. Position the spring onto the valve, and then position spring retainer over the spring and tap onto the valve seat with a rubber hammer. Before installing, lubricate the o-ring on the valve seat. Thread an M12 bolt into the spring retainer. Install valve assembly into the valve chamber and use a rubber hammer to tap the assembly into place. Remove the M12 bolt from the spring retainer. Install the washer, followed by the coil spring, onto the valve assembly. Before installing the valve plug, Replace o-ring with a new o-ring supplied in the valve kit. Lubricate the o-ring before installation. Hand thread the valve plug into the manifold. Using a 41mm socket, tighten the valve plug and torque to specification. <laughs> <laughs>